know, well, I know if I'm not there, the students will learn from you what you learn from me. Okay? So, grading zone, I mean, there's a lot of schools, guys, will say, geez, he got his black belt in two years. Or, you know, to me, it, uh, I'll never give somebody a black belt in two years. <clears throat> Unless he's here 12 hours a day, every day, <laughs> you know, when it doesn't happen. Um, so, I like to keep gradings quite stiff. Um, obviously, the different gra the gradings I'm doing now are more involved with the fighting art and how to teach, how, how do you kick bags, how do you punch bags, your rhythm, your, your stamina. And as you saw, you've got a staying power, you don't give up. Um, and technique and everything like that, which is important. <coughs> There's a lot of guys, they're technicians. We call them a technician, but they're not fighters. They can go and teach on the floor, yeah, they're good, but put them in a ring, they get wiped out in the first round. Now, we're all not fighters. I've had guys in my school where a guy, geez. We're talking cutter. He does a cutter like wow. So put him in a ring and he gets wiped out. You know, we're all different, you know. But he can become a good teacher. You know. So that's what it's um, all about. And I believe we might be all around. You know. Um, and we might know what we're talking about when we're teaching. You can't tell a guy, well, punch up this. And he says, why do you punch up that wall? Well, I'm telling you, punch up that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Explain to the guy. And um, so the other night, we did a grading, our first grading in Cambodia, <laughs> our first grading for a long time, and I done. And um, I decided to make um, Rob, Rob's been dedicated, he's been with me now five years, trained hard, um, always polite, respectful. I look at that also, when you come to a higher grade, you must have respect um, and discipline because if you haven't got it, how can you expect that little guy that walks in the club to have respect and discipline if you haven't got it? It always comes from the top. Everything comes from the top. If I walked around you like a big bully in that, you would be a big bully, you, because you're under me and say, oh, well, that's the right way. It's not the right way. I believe, and I've always said this, at the ring, be gentlemen, in the ring, we fighters. After the fight, you can hug and kiss a guy, but we get in the ring to do a job. Our job is to knock the guy out as quick as possible or win the fight. Afterwards, you are um, absolute gentleman. When people say, wow, um, uh, Rob from Paddy, Paddy Carson's gym. Wow, look at his discipline, look at the respect he's got. And that's what it's all about. And I had a talk with Ramon and Ratna the other day. I said, guys, <clears throat> you respect everybody. I don't care who they are. When you be guy out, we, we, we just went up to um, we just went up to uh, um, Babat, and they were a little bit undisciplined. Not that they know they don't know the right way. I got them here and I saw, I spoke to them to my wife and told them this is the right way. This is what I want from you. I want that discipline, respect, that everybody says, wow, he is such a great guy. Look at the discipline he's got. Wow. Martial arts is doing this and helping the youngsters. I used to teach street children in South Africa. And I got them off glue and all that. And eventually, the, the gang leader, I had a tournament, and he won the gold medal. And all these little guys, street children, were around. Um, at the tournament and he won it and I was so pleased that he won it because I turned this gangster bully that didn't care about life or anything into a respectable um, person and when he won the gold medal I mean everybody knew the street children they were all you know, it was a big tournament for children 
And when he won it, he said, wow, this is such an honor. <clears throat> my next step is to become a champion like Michelle, my daughter. And the people just clapped this guy and I mean, they had lumps in their throat. It was the other guy that had a gang of maybe 30 guys that was sm sm smelling glue, robbing people, until I took them over. One of my black belts actually came to me and said, do you want to teach three children? He wants to get involved. I said, yeah, 100%. And I used to go there once a week. My daughters used to go there with me once a week. And I turned all these guys from little thugs to little gentlemen. Yeah? I bought them karate suits and belts and did as much as I could. And <clears throat> through martial arts and boxing training, with all martial arts and all that, you can change a guy and make him a better person. And that's our job. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're now involved with a club. I agree. It's our job is to see these little guys come in here, undisciplined. A lot of them are, even if they, 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 they're not street children, they're poor children, and show them the right way. Like I just got two guys started two days ago. A little bit like this, and I got my wife to go to them and say, listen, in this club, when you walk in the door, you come and you respect all the higher grades, all the teachers, higher grades, you respect them. And I've always been so strict when it comes to discipline and respect. But if you haven't got discipline and respect in yourself, how can you give it to somebody else? <clears throat> and I've always been a very disciplined and respectable person. And I've showed it in, like I say, I was a leader in South Africa, in the ISK, I was a president. And I had thousands of guys under me, and they respected me because I respected them. And there was no, what went for my fighters went for your fighters. And that's why they respected me. <clears throat> and I, I, I made kickboxing one of the biggest things in South Africa. <clears throat> so, and I say to you guys, <clears throat> I've looked at you, I've looked at over the years, over the years, and it seemed, and I've graded Rob to, you got three brown belts. Okay, you got the third brown belt, you got second, you got a first. First brown belt, there's a belt underneath a black belt. Okay? Um, I've made you a first brown belt. I've graded your first brown belt, it's called a EQ. Very hard grade. So, um, it will, it will be an international certificate, you'll be recognized anyway. The Bushido certificate, every day I would go to a petty class and it's totally recognized. Okay? And Antonia, Antonia has been in the game 30 years. I've taken all that into consideration and all that. <coughs> but he hasn't trained with me for 30 years. He's been training with me for about 6, 7 years. I don't know. And I've graded you a first hand black belt. Okay guys, so I must give you a good day. Okay? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.